recording stopped. What I was saying is that law enforcement cannot entice citizens. They're enlisting all these people to commit crimes. So in, law enforcement cannot entice citizens to commit crimes with them. They will come out on their own to deny me hotel stays, threaten the, to break the door down and remove me out of corruption. And nothing had happened. When I started to record and incriminate them, then they enticed the businesses to commit the crimes for them. Lie and slander me to deprive me of services, which is still criminal. They're enticing citizens to commit crimes with them, the government. They are behaving like the mob as they have done for years with no consequences. I don't know if you heard the recording stopped. Some of those interactions with law enforcement, I did not know if I was going to make it out alive dealing with the government. I thought they were going to murder me for profit. Hello. Do you have a manager here? I'm not. Do you have a manager here? Yes. Sir. Oh, you're the manager? Okay, well, I came here a while back. The government has been blacklisting me from services, and I came here and I asked for the food, where the food was, and they called police, and then they arrested me for asking for the food here. For, oh, yeah. Was that, was that when uh, Walter and all this went up? It was a while back, like in 20... The government has been terrorizing me for a long time. Um, let me remember. <laughs> I have it recorded. The manager called. I mean, I'm not sure because all of us, we've, been, we've only been working here for like uh, just a little bit. So. Yeah. Okay, well, here's the thing. I want to give you my YouTube channel because the government entices people to commit be conspirators in their criminal activity. They behave like the mob. Right. And then they entice people to commit crimes with them. Law enforcement. So I want you to have my YouTube channel so you can see how out of control they were. Or if they entice you to commit crimes, I want you to know, even if it's law enforcement, it's still criminal. It doesn't change because it's the police. A crime is still a crime. When did this happen? I have it on my YouTube channel. I'm about to give it to you so you can look at it. Uh, I think it was around May of 2020 when COVID first happened. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. I was but they kept doing it so often, and then COVID happened. I, was, I thought they were scamming. Because they had all these businesses deprive me of services before, and no one did anything about it. Like having you call the police out because just because I was ordering, yeah, trying to ask for the food. Me. I wasn't here. I was still Oh, hello. Yeah. Who are you? I don't know where you're coming from. I just was talking to them. Oh, you're, what are you, police? Yeah, one of the co workers got them. Oh, well, good. Yeah, I came here, and I was arrested for asking for the food, and then they called the police on me at Walmart for asking for salads. Oh. So I, are you, do you, can you do a report to see? And why would they ask me to leave? Huh? What's your name? Let me get your badge number, because if you, yeah, you need my YouTube channel. See, he's committing a crime. Because if, why would he, if the people are depriving me of my right to food, I reported that I tried to get food and they called the police for me trying to get food here. And they also called the police. I'm not being heard. Can I finish? At this point, we don't understand why you're here. Okay, well, I, you have, do you deprive all people of the right to purchase food? And do people get arrested for ordering food now? I just wanted to get to the bottom. I'm causing a problem because I want to know why I was arrested for order. He's being rude. Police entice people to commit crimes. So here, let me give you my YouTube channel. I've never heard of someone that was arrested for ordering, for trying to order food. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can't tell you much because I was here. Okay, but I think that if I had rights, that I can definitely complain. Let me go ahead and give you my YouTube channel so you can see the more crimes the government commits. I don't think that it's right that I was arrested for trying to order food, get food. And then why they call police on me for trying to get salads at Walmart. Bendy says and Bendy said Yeah. Police set up for people to degrade me and violate me and no consequences for it. That's abusive to have workers to conspire with crimes and abusing me for a profit. Get your badge information. Okay, so why would police be called because I'm trying to order food? and get food at multitude of locations? Why would you tell them to have me leave? Are you behind? I want to know why people have deprived me of my right to purchase food and water. That's why I'm asking him. You're slandering me, sir. That's slander. I have a right to purchase food and water like everyone else. You're slandering me. I want to get down to the bottom of why people have called law enforcement for me trying to purchase food. 
well, I want to ask him, he's law enforcement. You, do you, when you go order food, do you have a right to get food? Do you get arrested for trying to eat? Do you get arrested for trying to order food? So I just want to know, do all people get arrested for trying to eat? I don't know you. I don't know why you would condone me getting arrested for trying to eat here in a scheme. If the police is enticing you to commit crimes, it's still criminal. So he, they have them and en enlist people in the psychological abuse. They would tear, they, you gotta see it to believe it. That's one of the things I couldn't talk about. They degrade me and violate me staff. When he was mad, all kinds of people did it with no consequences. Would you like to see my YouTube channel, man? You don't? Okay. Yeah, you, can, you can't find anyone in integrity now. I mean, arrested for ordering food, and he thinks it's okay. Put the rule on those seven. So they come out to interrupt because they're the listing the people to commit the crimes. So then he had to say, "What's going on? What's going on?" I'm fully aware because he enticed them to do it. So they arrest me right, arrested me right over there at the Bachman station. They were so corrupt, they also wanted to sabotage my access to transit at this location because it was close to the FBI. So then they gave me a criminal trespass for no reason at this Bachman location out of corruption with no consequences and sabotage my ability to purchase food at this racetrack in the process. So that's the police right there. Since I'm forced to do my own law enforcement, those are, these are the people setting up the people to degrade me and violate me for profit. He thought it was okay that I got arrested for trying to eat. Let me blow so he can get his charges. He condoned it and set up for place people to degrade me for profit and all this. That's who set it up. Since I'm deprived of law enforcement, let me help the government get their charges. Yeah, that's the police. Right there. You can see him right there. This is his vehicle. There he goes. This is a crime. So what they are starting to do, because you could see the police cars, so that you could see that they were stalking me. So now they have started to get in their own vehicles. So they're not in police vehicles so they can stalk and be still abuse power by being the police. That way they go under the radar. I mean, it's a lot of corruption that has been unaddressed for years. So because the government felt uncomfortable by me being that close to the FBI, they blacklisted me from all um, hotel stays over here. And when the one they uh, had the hotels conspire scheme to deprive me of services if they just didn't flat out lie and say they were full. Use the That's right what the government did. The I'm trying to call the police and my phone is malfunctioning until I started recording. Yes, I was told that I had a warrant and I was told to call in and check this warrant for the location of the criminal trespass. I have a um, warrant number and I'd like to check the location. I was told to call Dallas PD. Did you have a warrant? I have a warrant number. Well, a number. They hung up because they're committing crime. They're lying. They're networked together for the criminal activity. Let me call back. Randomly for years going through this with no consequences for this behavior. Yes, yes I was disconnected. I was disconnected? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Oh, okay. It was an accident? Number. Okay. I'm sorry, what did you ask? I meant, what did you say? You said you had a warrant number? Yeah, I have a number. Can you check in it? I was told to call you guys. I'm not sure. Well, I can't check a warrant number. Do you have a case number? Yeah, that's, that's probably what it is. It's 1-1. One, one. Three four four six dash twenty nineteen. And what is this in regards to? I don't know. I was told that it was a warrant that this police um, told me to check into. Okay, what police told you to do that? 
Uh, you need to know before you tell me what's going on? Yes, ma'am. I need to know who I'm speaking to. I can't just give out information. Oh, my name's Kiana. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, what's suspicious is, you know, he was trying to set me up. And he told me about a warrant, a criminal trespass. I mean, I don't know why so many police set me up. And then this criminal trespass that he's communicating, is that he's stating that this I was in jail on false charges. So I couldn't have had the criminal trespass because I was in jail on false charges. They gave me a criminal trespass for trying to report abuse I experienced on DART that they set up. So it was like they tried to cover for what's going on in these areas for me being blacklisted from services. They sent out right care to cover for that. And then DART police set up crimes on DART and arrested yeah, me for that. North Stemmons Freeway. So anyway, I'm sorry? Yeah. I can't. So I'm, I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading something. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, so what it is is that he didn't want to accept responsibility for the chaos they set in that community to deprive me of services and violate me. So he had to con and try to tamper with evidence and display these criminal trespasses that they had concocted out of corruption so he can deflect on the crimes that they could set up in this area. The same, like Lindsay did it when he arrested me and sent held me off for reporting the abuse that I experienced on DART getting trapped on trains, left, um, threatened and police cover for it, assaults and attacks that the government covered for and probably set up threatened, hauled off and sent to the garage trying to catch the bus. They'd lock me in and take me to the garage on camera footage with no consequences. So when I tried to get down to the bottom of it on Acker with Cedric Bivens, since Lindsay set it up at the West End, he didn't want me to report that, so he just arrested me and hauled me off out of slander with no consequences. So I'm not quite sure why this man deflected, and I'm telling him a multitude of people slander me, and the police have a hundred and something reports of evidence they refuse to investigate, with evidence that I've, my family has been terrorized as well as myself, which is criminal, with no consequences. So he did tell me to call. Why would he lie? You need to get this. Let me get this police's information. He said he was trying to help. Let me give you the report number that they just gave me. Hello? Hello? For years? Hello? Northeast Patrol. Bizarre. This is Northeast Patrol? Yes, ma'am. That's weird. I don't know how I got transferred to you while I was talking. I don't know, ma'am. But how can I help you? Yes, my name is Kiana Clark. I just did a report. And I knew this police was tampered with evidence and gave me information that's not accurate. He wanted me to enter. Uh, he wanted me to know about criminal trespasses that didn't exist for some reason. I think he okay. was trying to, you know, kind of tamper with evidence and deflect on the crimes that were committed in that community and who get down to the bottom of who set up all this criminal activity to deprive me of services that people have been getting away with for years with no consequences. What is this, um, happening then? Let me give you the report number I just got. Okay, I think it's 188-459-2022. All right, it just happened just now. No, did you make the report? Just now, just like 15, 20 minutes ago. So I've been trying to figure out how to report police committing crimes for years. Is it not possible? Have you tried going to our internal affairs? So I'm, I'm not, I mean, how do people, can police not no longer get charges? Is it impossible yeah. for police to get charges? No, ma'am. Okay, how do you get them? Internal affairs is the only way to get police their charges? Well, they start the investigation, yes. Okay, so that's the only way. On What if the all internal affairs is corrupt and whole departments? Then you could go to Dallas County. Dallas County? DA? Are you trying to sabotage the help, ma'am? Wouldn't it be the FBI? To yeah, report corruption? I'm, I'm giving you answers. I'm giving you answers. 
the DA to report corruption of government officials? If you if you believe that all of the internal affairs is corrupt. Well, they put me out for reporting I was targeted and gave me fraud for records. Then after they gave me fraud, they just won't give me the records per- period for years. Then finally, after they got backed in the corner after playing games years, they gave me three records out, out of like 70 something. They chose the records that they would let me have. I paid for fraud from police headquarters and they got away with it with no consequences. So then the 70 something reports they refused investigation for, they chose the three records they would let me have out of 70. Ranging from hit and runs, assault with a deadly weapon, trapped on trains, bus ca- captured on camera footage, multiple attacks, getting threatened, ran off roads. All of that they deprived investigation for a hack phone, identity theft robberies, pickpocketing. But they chose three reports from 2020 that they were in 2019 that they'd allow me to have, which did not include the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. They didn't want me to have that because a gang stalker did it in that area, that community. So they had to cover for him and not investigate the report of this man pulling, putting a gun up to my head, pulling the trigger. Thank God it didn't have bullets in it, but you it's, you don't feel really comfortable when the government enforces behavior like that with no consequences. So out of the 70-something reports from all those hidden runs, child abuse, all these crimes, they only allowed me three records and before they gave me fraud. Well, I have no control over what records... Well, I, I'm reporting crime. You want me to go to internal affairs and that's not really going to be a solution because if they did all well, that, whatever. that's really not... A solution? That's a solution I have here. Okay, well, I think that these people need to wreck up their felonies, ma'am. Okay, I just wanted to see what he was giving me. He blatantly lied, trying to deflect for the crimes they set up in that community. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye. This is one of the things I can't talk about. The gang stalkers do creepy things. Let me see if you can get uh, up close up on it so you can see. Let me get over here. what's on the trunk it looks like blood dripping from the trunk like a dead body's in it like the trunk like blood I'm trying to get up close so you can see it i don't know if you can see it so these are little warnings the game stopper give to let you know that you're crossing the line we're trying to hurry up and get away they time so hopefully you can see it like blood doing anything wrong time and you don't try to hurry up and brush away they planted fish like a dead fish in certain locations it was like um, bait fish but like a big fish look giving me warnings that i'm a dead fish or you know dead for trying to report crimes they've been doing it years all kinds of intimidation tactics that the government refuses to enforce because they're probably behind by the way, the toy fish, the toy dead fish was at um, police headquarters. They're playing games right here. I just got here. With the lights. Okay, if you're new to the channel, the uh, my abuser, which is enlisted the government into his abuse, knows that I have a light sensitivity, so he enlists people to shine the bright lights in my face. And whenever I'm recording, they hurry up and cut them off. It's also part of the smear campaign, so they deliberately shine lights in my face, petty all the time. And the government enforces this man's abuse with no consequences.